One man, unaware of the danger that exists in the shadows of the old house, is determined to seek out the truth. Mr. Loomis, do you uh, remember me? Why, yeah, you're, you're the doctor who came to look at me when I was sick. That's right. How are you feeling now? Well, I'm okay. Why? Well, uh, I'd like to examine your wounds again. Well, what for? Well, I, I want to be satisfied that they're healing properly. They're okay. Now, I don't, I don't need a doctor. Well, I'd like to make sure myself. Uh, let me examine them. It'll only take a minute. Oh, and uh, I'd also like to get a sample of your blood. My blood? That's right. For my records. No. You go away. Please, go away. Please, you go away. But why? I didn't call you. I don't need a doctor. Mr. Loomis, I've already been consulted. Now, all I want to do is re-examine your wounds and make sure that they're healing properly. Oh, I'm fine, honest. You may not be as well as you think you are. Oh, why do you say that? Because I have another patient whose symptoms greatly resemble yours. And it turns out, unfortunately, that she's suffering from a, a very strange blood disorder. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I do think that I ought to examine you again. Who are you talking about? Maggie Evans. I see. All I want to be sure of is that you're not suffering from the same thing. That's why I think that an examination is absolutely necessary. Now, surely you must understand that. I don't know. Well, of course you understand it. You don't want to be sick, do you? No. All right, then just give me your hand. I'll get a small sample of blood, just a couple of drops. Won't take a No! Mr. Loomis! I don't need to be examined. I feel fine. Well, possibly you are all right. I don't That's want to be here examined. To find out. No, please, I feel fine. You may feel fine, but... No, I told you, I don't want an examination, and I don't need an examination, so go away. I don't understand your attitude at all. Wait a minute, listen. To what? I thought I heard... What time is it? It's about 6.30, now watch. You better go now. The sun is setting, it'll be dark soon. Well, I don't happen to be afraid of the dark. I must say, you're behaving very strangely. There's nothing you can do for me, so... Barnabas. Hello, Willie. I see we have a visitor. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Woodard, Dave Woodard. I guess you're Barnabas Collins, eh? That's right. Well, what brings you here, Doctor? Is someone ill? I am not sure. I'm afraid I don't follow you. Well, Mr. Collins, I have another patient who, uh, unfortunately, is suffering from a, a rare blood disease. Mr. Loomis shows some of the same symptoms, so I thought reasonably that I should come and examine him. But he won't let me, and I don't understand why. Why won't you let the doctor examine you, Willie? Because I'm not sick. I'm okay. Now, you tell him I'm okay. Well, I can tell you that uh, Willie seems to be in good health. He does the work of three men around this place. Nevertheless, he could be suffering from an infectious disease. The examination is only for your own good. You'd better let him examine you, Willie. No. No. There's nothing to be afraid of. Please, let me go to my room. All right, then. I apologize for Willie. He's the finest servant I ever had. But he tends to be nervous and upset. Well, he seems to be absolutely terrified of me. It doesn't make sense. Well, perhaps he's terrified of all doctors. Mm. There are people like that, you know. Yeah. Those who have 
strange superstitions about the practice of medicine. I assume you're not one of them. You understand that I'm only trying to help him. Yes, of course. I would ask you, if you would, please, to use your influence with him. Try to persuade him to come to my office. It could be very important. Well, I'll certainly have a talk with Willie. Thank you. But of course, if he still refuses to see you, I can't force him to go. I can't force him to do anything against his will. The fear that the day could not disperse remains. An already mounting terror continues, unchecked. I am a Collins, and that means I am a man of my word. You understand that, don't you? No. I promised the doctor you'd give him a sample of your blood. No, please, I wouldn't dare. And why not? They'll know all about me. I won't let him take it. I won't let him take my blood. I promised, and I always keep a promise. Oh, why are you going to do this? You have as much to lose as I do. Please don't. Please. I'm sorry, Willie. Now you must calm your nerves. The doctor will be here presently. No. Please. Please. I know this is strictly a professional call. But I couldn't let you come all the way out here and offer no hospitality at all. Oh, thank you very much. I do have to be getting back to town pretty soon. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, Willie! Dr. Woodard is here. Willie! Ah, there you are. Uh, we shouldn't keep Dr. Woodard waiting. You know, he's a very busy man. Do I have to? Now, Willie, look at it this way. This could, in some remote fashion, help Miss Evans. And it may help you. Now, unknown to yourself, you may have some very tragic malady. Now, the doctor only wants to help. Sit down, Willie. It'll just take a minute. Believe me, you're not going to miss the little drop of blood that I take from you. Now, give me a hand. All I need is the tip of your finger. Well, you won't even feel this. Just look the other way. All you're going to feel is the little prick of a pin. Come on. No, please. It uh, may be some comfort to you to know that a great many people share your dislike for giving away your blood. Now, in a way, isn't that understandable? After all, blood is the life force. It reaches in to the deepest recesses of both the heart and the brain. It is the familiar of our complete being. To surrender even one drop of it is to suggest a partial surrender of one's utmost self. Oh, it didn't hurt that much. I shouldn't let you do it. Come on, give me a hand now. Now, you had no choice. Come on. Now, pour the doctor another drink. Oh, really? No, thanks. I have to be getting back. Oh, please. Just a little. Willie? I'm uh, not what you'd call a great wine drinker, but I, uh, I must admit this is excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Willie. That will be all, Willie. Now, the doctor and I are both very grateful for your cooperation. Yes, we are. And don't you be embarrassed now by being frightened. Uh, I understand. No, you don't understand. Willie, that will be all. Uh, may I uh, see the slide? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. There isn't much to see. It Unless it's under a microscope, just hold it on the side. Hmm. Thank you. It's like a delicate little flower painted on glass. Yes, even under the microscope it has a certain beauty. The intricate structure of the cells and great variety of color and shadings. 
Yes. I guess some of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen in my life have been uh, microscopic views of hideous malignancies. Well, I hope poor Willie doesn't provide you with such an experience. Thrilling though it may be. Of course. And yet, to be honest, you would like to see on that slide a repetition of what you saw in Miss Evans' blood, wouldn't you? As much as I regret to say it, yes, I would. It's a terrible thing to say you hope somebody has an illness, but I can't help it. If this slide shows what I hope it does, it could, in its own way, lead us to Maggie. Oh? How? Well, if we can diagnose it accurately, if we can find out where and how Willie contracted the disease, if we could even prove some connection between Maggie Evans and Willie. But you don't really suspect that Willie's involved, do you? No, not really, but if the blood sample showed some marked similarity, well, obviously, we'd have to go on looking for other connections. We'd have to uh, look very carefully. Barnabas, please, let me go away, far away, please. But I need you here. You know that. They're going to find me. Find you? Are you lost? Oh, that doctor, he's going to look at that slide. Yes, I think he probably will. And you know what he's going to see? Yes, indeed I do. And they're going to come and get me. And if they do come and get you, and if they do ask you several questions, what are you going to tell them? Nothing. Are you sure? I won't tell them anything. They may appeal to your sympathy for the girl. I have no sympathy. They might hurt you. And you know you can't stand physical pain. I still wouldn't tell them anything. You would. You know you would. No, I swear. But you betrayed me before, and you probably would again. Never, never. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, absolutely sure. I don't understand. If you're so worried, I'll betray you. Why did you let him take my blood? Why? Oh, Willie. You have so little faith in me, don't you? Faith? Did you really think that I would betray you? What? Did you think that I would be more unloyal to you than you are to me? I am loyal. And you think that I am not? I only know you let him take my blood. Yes, I let him take the blood. What's that? A delicate flower painted on glass. You switched the slides. You changed them. You forgot that I paid a visit a few days ago to a doctor's office. Any number of innocuous blood slides were made available to me at that time. And the doctor, he won't find anything? Let's say he won't find anything very important. And they won't come after me. Did you think that I would let them come after you? Oh, no. No, I knew you wouldn't let anything happen to me. You knew nothing of the kind. Yes, I did. I knew you'd protect me. No, you didn't. You didn't know it then, and you don't know it now. What? I protected you then. I may again. And then again, I may not. Oh, no, you will. I know you will. We shall see. We shall see. Hello, Willie. Hello, Miss Evans. Miss Collins at home? No. Well, are you, uh, know when he might be back? Well, he didn't say for sure. Uh -huh. Well, I uh, wonder if I could see the painting. I'd like to work on it a little. I, I don't know what he wants to do about it. Well, he wants to get it finished, doesn't he? Well, sure he does. Well, the best way to finish it is to work on it, right? 
I, I don't know if you can work on it here. Why not? Well, there's so many repairs being done, might get in the way. Well, I, uh, I only need a few sittings. You see, he, he's pretty busy and all. He's out of town. Well, if I had some time with the painting, uh, you know, maybe I could finish it. And uh, you want to take a little look at it? I don't know. Well, I haven't seen it in a little while. Maybe it'll refresh my memory. I'm, I'm kind of busy. Well, I'll just take a minute. I, I'm not supposed to let anyone in here. Well, I'm not a stranger. I just want to have a quick look at it. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah, let's see. Just a little work in the background. And some on the hands. And uh, then I'll finish it up. But like I said, I don't know when Mr. Collins can sit for you again. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can do it right here, and he can uh, make his sittings at his own convenience. Oh, no, I don't think that'd work out too well. Hey, look, huh? wh why don't you take the painting home with you and finish it there? I want to do that all along. Well, well why don't you take it with you right now? Oh, good. Look, I'll uh, put it out in the station wagon. I'll be uh, back in a minute for the easel. Hey, wait a minute. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll carry the easel out for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no sense making two trips, huh? Right. Well, uh, my pipe, I must have left it in here. I, I know I had it when I came in. Then it must be here. Oh. I think it uh, left it on the table over here. Well, I don't see it. Well, I, I don't see it anywhere. Well, strange. Hey, maybe you dropped it outside. No, no, I don't think so. It's not here. <laughs> I, I must be getting absent-minded. Look, if you find it, keep it for me, will you? I've had it for many years. It's a good old friend. I'll do that, Miss Evans. I'll do that. Thanks. supposed to come down here unless you're told to. Wanted to come down. Well, you gotta remember to do what you're told. Were you down here a few minutes ago? I don't want to be up there. Hey, did, did you take anything from this room? I don't want to be in that room. You gotta stay in that room. You gotta learn to do as you're told. Am I? You're Josette. 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 Am I Josette? Yeah, you're Josette. Now please remember it, huh? I keep thinking that I'm someone else. Someone else. Now you're Josette Collins, and this is your house. Do you understand? I don't know. I think I am, but I'm not sure. You are, Josette. You are. No. No, I can't be Josette Collins. I'm someone else. Someone else. Oh, you better get back upstairs, you hear? No. No, I don't want to go up to that room. Hey, you better. Barnabas will be here soon, very soon. Barnabas Collins? Barnabas will be here? Yeah, that's right, it's almost time. Now, you better get back up there and stay there. Barnabas? Barnabas Collins? Barnabas? Barnabas?
Come closer, Willie. <laughs> what do you have to tell me? Sam Evans was here. What did he want? I want to see about the painting. Did you let him in? I had to. Stupid fool. He didn't see anything. He doesn't know anything. Are you sure? I swear. You can't take a chance like that. He wanted to work on the painting here. I told him to take her home with him and work on it there so he wouldn't come back here. We can't have people coming in this house. No, we can. It wouldn't do for anyone to find our guest. No. Nor would it do for anyone to find me here. No one will find me. I'm very vulnerable here. You know that, don't you? Yes. I trust that you will never try to take advantage of it. Never. I, I swear it. You know you can't escape me. Ever. I know. Then we have nothing to worry about. You must continually keep an eye out for that young David. I'll keep him away. How is Josette this evening? All right, I guess. What do you mean? She was down here. She came down the stairs. It gets harder to keep her in a room. You may have to lock her in. She keeps asking who she is. I tell her she's Josette over and over. Sometimes she believes it and sometimes no. Bring her down to me. Now. to be locked. We must find her immediately. Me, do you know who I am? Willie. That's right. Oh, I've come to get you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now you just do what I tell you to do. You understand? Barnabas is gone now. Gone? For a while. And I won't hurt you, you know that, don't you? You do what I say. Just come with me, huh?
That's right. You lie down, rest. Rest. Try to sleep if you can. Dream. Sleep. That's right. I had a dream. A terrible dream. You don't think about it. He was standing over oh, me. Oh, don't, don't. And it was in a coffin. It was in a coffin. Light up the cat. It wasn't a dream. Shh, don't. I was in a coffin. Shh. I was in a no. coffin. No, 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 no. You listen to me, listen to me. Oh. Can you hear me? I'm trying to help you, don't you understand? Huh? Oh, what is I'm it? I'm trying to help you, listen to what I have to say. What? My running away was a mistake, a bad mistake. I had to get away from him. Oh, you can never get away from him. He'll never let you. And if you try to get away, he'll punish you again. And you don't want that, do you? He'll make it worse. No. Okay. Then do what he wants you to do. Be what he wants you to be. Yeah. Good, Josette Collins. No. You have to believe that's who you are. It's the only way you'll be safe. I'm not Josette Collins. Don't let Barnabas hear you say that. Never let him hear you say that. You don't know how cruel he can be. I know. And don't take any more chances. Try to believe you, Josette. Just try. I can't. You can. It's her music. And you listen to it, and you say to yourself over and over, I'm Josette Collins. Josette Collins. I'm Josette Collins. Yes. And I'm going to be the bride of Barnabas Collins. Bride? Right. That's right. Whenever you get scared, you listen to this music. Collins wants to see you. Thank you. Tell him Josette will be down immediately. I want to brush my hair. Remember now, no matter what, Maggie Evans. Maggie Evans. How did she seem? Calm? Quiet? And she answered right away to the name Josette. She even referred to herself as Josette. Promising. Very promising. Perhaps the time I've been waiting for has come at last. Barnabas? Josette. I've been enjoying the music box you gave me. Music is so soothing. It seems to erase all unhappy memories in my mind. I'm very pleased to hear it. I believe you have some special work to do. I want it completed as quickly as possible. I'm almost sure the time has come. It'll be done. <laughs> 